Hello everybody in Dallas, Fort Worth. I got to tell you that uh, today is not a good day. Uh, reckless, radical Republicans, the most extreme MAGA Republicans uh, in the U.S. House of Representatives is holding our government hostage. And you know, we have so many government jobs in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. Uh, Fritz G. Langham, Earl Capital Federal Building in downtown Dallas, uh, our currency plant, FAA regional office, and so on and so on. We have a lot of contractors that work for the government and they won't get back pay. This is gonna hurt our local economy. This needs to end. There is a bipartisan bill that's going to come from the Senate that Mitch McConnell, who is a Republican, and Chuck Schumer, who is the Democratic leader in the Senate, have agreed on. It's going to come over here. And it's up to Kevin McCarthy to decide whether or not he is going to, again, listen to the most reckless, radical Republicans in his caucus or whether he is going to come together with reasonable people. Make no mistake about it, this is a Republican shutdown. This is not a shared shutdown. If you're polling and you're saying that it's both sides' fault, you're absolutely wrong. This is the Republicans' shutdown. We are trying to work together in a bipartisan manner, but the most extreme voices in the Republican Party are the ones that are basically in charge of Kevin McCarthy right now and it's bad for the American public. I want to direct you to my website, vc.house.gov, uh, to use it as a resource, uh, whether or not uh, you need uh, some sort of uh, help navigating all of this. Obviously, there are going to be local sources that help people with food banks and, and, and various charities and, and what have you to help people get through this hard time. But make no mistake about it, this is a Republican shutdown. Uh, let's get this thing fixed. Uh, let's uh, get the government back open for the American people and for residents in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This is just plain wrong on the Republicans' part.